Okay, uh, as we proceed uh, with our jurisprudence one, uh, we are going to look at the relationship between law and religion. So as we noted that we know what, re what law is, now we have to know what religion is. A religion basically is the superstructure, I mean is the structure of faith and worship. And it's the belief system based on supernatural powers. You believe in something that is supernatural. You have faith and you worship. So the relationship between, the similarity between law and religion is that religion and law always go hand in hand. All religion is always, all religion always goes hand in hand with the law. And this was seen in the case of Obegefel versus Hodge. Obegefel, uh, it is O-B-E-G-E-F-E-L-L versus Hodge. Uh, the U.S. Supreme Court uh, laid that people have a constitutional right to marry anyone regardless of their, society, their sex, whether male or female, meaning that even though it violates the right to religion, uh, it laid, even if it violates religious beliefs, since homo homosexuality is a sin. So they have very uncomfortable, so they were very uncomfortable that courts say gay marriage is legal. So to them, they were very uncomfortable to say whether gay marriage is legal because it violates that religious belief because homosexuality is illegal as per religion. So religion and the law in most times move hand in hand when you see the case of Ebegefel versus Hodge where the Supreme Court feared to state whether homosexuality should be legalized because uh, 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 it violates a uh, legal right. We are going to see even thinkers such as Thomas Aquinas, Greeks and Romans, Hindus used religion to develop the law, meaning that religion and the law go hand in hand. However, there is a slight difference between religion and the law. There is a slight difference between religion and the law. One, religion is mandatory. To be fo I mean law is mandatory to be followed, while religion is not mandatory. I can follow, I must follow the law, but you cannot force me to follow a particular religion. And this can be seen in the case of Sharon de Manch versus Makerere University, where a, a SFD, this SFD who studied, who, who, uh, who pray on Saturday, uh, uh, they were not, they, Makerere in that case they had to say that uh, you have a right to follow your own religion. But not everyone can follow your religion. So the other is that law is enforced by the state, which is not the same with religion. So it is the state that enforces the law, and it is not uh, the state that enforces a religion, among others. So briefly, that is the relationship and the difference between law and the religion in jurisprudence.